this didn't work. How close are we to having to go back? But what we didn't realize at the time was that while it sucked that we were in that financial situation, it was an eye opener for us and that you don't have to have an office. You don't have to have a physical location. You can work in our business from anywhere. Now, if you're running an oil change company or like a small like franchise or something like locally in your city, well, yeah, you know, it requires your presence or someone's presence there. But with our business building and helping people you know, broker the sale of online businesses, we don't have to be anywhere. So, you know, we started working from home and, you know, continued to, to hire people, started to grow that side of our business to the point where in 2014, my uh, now wife and I started traveling around. So we spent 2014 to 2019 living out of suitcase and spending time in Singapore, Manila, Bangkok, the US, Europe. And so, you know, we even today we spend half our time in Asia, half our time in the US. And so that's, and that this doesn't apply to me as a founder and my business partner. Our entire company is completely location independent. So we've got Americans living in Medellin. We've got a British guy living in Prague. We got people living wherever they want, whenever they want, as long as they can get their work done in the location they're in. That's great. So, you know, a failure, we're like, oh my God, we're shutting down this office and we're going to be working from home. What kind of losers are we turned into a real strength in that when we hire people, we tell them, you can work from anywhere. We're not going to hold you to certain hours, certain time zones, but make sure you get your shit done. Yeah. 